हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन योर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड ज्योमेट्रिक मीन एंड टिल नाउ वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड एरिथमेटिक मीन कम्बाइन मीन वेटेड मीन एंड ज्योमेट्रिक मीन थ्री मीन आर कम्प्लीट मेन वन मेन मीन एंड थ्री टाइप्स नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज मीडियम एंड ऑल इट्स पोजिशनल एवरेज मीडियम and its positional averages are quartiles decimals percentiles again we need formula for each of them and for each type of data that is discrete data continuous data and row data so we are going to write the formulas in a whole table so that our understanding will become easy so first of all everyone in your notebook give the heading median and its positional elements give the heading median and its positional average then write v r going to learn the following positional we are going to learn the following positional averages quartiles decimals percentiles okay now we will give the heading formulas for median and its positional averages for row discrete and continuous data formulas for median and its positional average for row discrete and continuous data so friends write this much and then i am running the whole code because i will show all the formulas in a single table so i need the whole code so i am running this thing so first you write this thing then uh, look to the board now friends one more thing i have to repeat the things which i am writing on the board now is a very big table so if it is not possible uh, to write in single page then use two pages i will uh, write four columns so two two columns in each page otherwise still the book the whole thing will come so it is up to you how you are writing okay no problem so we have given the headings now i will write all the formulas the formulas you have already learned in standard 10 also so we don't have any worry for that okay type of data median 
एल प्लस एन बाय टू माइनस सी एफ डिवाइडेड बाय एफ मल्टीप्लाय सी एम इज इक्वल टू एल प्लस एन बाय टू माइनस सी एफ अपॉन एफ मल्टीप्लाय सी नाउ वी हैव टू राइट where l is lower boundary point that is lbp of median class now friends What is the difference between lower limit and lower boundary point? Lower boundary point are found from only exclusive class. If there are inclusive class, the lower limit it is known as a lower limit. It cannot be said as lower boundary point. So if in the question, if in the question the classes are inclusive, then first you need to convert them exclusive, but not all the class which is median class. Okay, nothing else. Don't convert the whole thing. n by 2 from 1 what we are getting the value ca cumulative frequency of previous class obtained the class which we have decided the previous class cumulative frequency now f is frequency of same class the class which is decided that class frequency and c is class length of same class not other class class length which is decided class which is decided its thing is that okay so we have written the formula for median now we are going formula for quartiles okay okay qj now friends in median i did not write mj but why i am writing in quartiles qj because median is only one but quartiles are three there are three quartiles see median is one it is dividing in two parts quartiles are three it will divide the data into four equal parts is equals to value of j now everywhere j is required because median is only one so median uh, j is not required but quartile which we are finding that number is required n plus 1 by fourth observation why divide by 4 because median is one dividing the data in two parts quartiles are three dividing the data into four parts that thing must be remembered yes okay so for discrete and when the row data is over again for continuous data step 1 decide quartile class we have to first decide the quartile class how to decide qj instead of only q use qj where again j is equals to 1 2 3 3 and the same thing class containing j n plus 1 by 4 observation Class containing J n plus one by four observation. What is the difference here? Class containing n by two because one median two equal parts. Here four quartiles, three quartiles, so four equal parts and J is required because there are more than one quartiles. Number two. Find out quartile. Same formula but with simple different things. Instead of m, we will use q j. Again, j is equals to one, two, three. 
is equals to same formula L plus now instead of n by 2 what is the term sorry sorry not here this is my mistake not plus is used this is my mistake simple mistake class containing j n by 4 not plus 1 okay this was my mistake i am sorry class containing j n by 4 observation so here also j n by 4 minus c f divide by f multiply c now again where l is lower boundary point of quartile class now again every time i will not write lower boundary point full j n by 4 from 1 what we get here cf is cumulative frequency of previous class of take f is equals to frequency of that class sorry not that class same class that is also done and c is equals to class length of same class so the same thing is written only the difference instead of m we are using qj Okay, let us write for the size. <coughs> Dj. J is equals to 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, 9. J is equals to 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, 9 means there are 9 vortices. Again, if there are 3, sorry, 9 decides. If there are 3 vortices, it divides into 4 parts. If there are 9 decides, then it divides into 10 equal parts. So, is equals to value of j n plus 1 by 10 observation. j n plus 1 by 10 observation. Again, the same thing for continuous data. First of all, decide. Decide class. Then dj, where j is equals to 1, 2, dot, dot, 9, class containing j n by 10th observation. j n by 10th observation. Again, the same thing. Find out this side. Instead of find out what time, what we find? Find out this side. Again, the same formula, only name is changed. Dj, where j is 1, 2, dot, dot, 9, L plus j n by 10 minus cf upon f multiply c. Again, where L is lower boundary point of decide class j n by 10 from 1 cf is cumulative frequency of previous class f is equals to frequency of same class c is equals to class length of same class same things we are writing, friends. And now last, percentile. P, J, where J is equals to 1, 2, dot, dot, 99. Quartiles are 3. Decides are 9. Percentiles are 99. So, we will divide 100 parts. So, value of J, N plus 1 upon 100 observation now same thing for continuous data 
डिसाइड परसेंटाइल क्लास अगेन पी जे जे इज इक्वल्स टू वन टू डॉट डॉट नाइनटी नाइन क्लास कंटेनिंग जे एन बाय हंड्रेड ऑब्जर्वेशन देन सेकंड स्टेप फाइंड आउट परसेंटाइल फाइंड आउट परसेंटाइल पी जे जे इज इक्वल्स टू वन टू डॉट डॉट नाइनटी नाइन एल प्लस जे एन बाय हंड्रेड माइनस सी एफ अपॉन एफ मल्टीप्लाई सी अगेन वेर एल इज लोअर बाउंड्री पॉइंट ऑफ परसेंटाइल क्लास J n by 100 from 1. Cf is cumulative frequency of previous class. F is equals to frequency of same class. C is equals to class length of same class. So friends, completed whole formulas. You may see it, and you may write accordingly. The comparison is very simple. Median, if you remember, you can remember all the things. What is the difference between median and everyone? Median is only one, so J is not written. Otherwise, quartiles are three, so divide by four. Median is one, divide by two. Decimals are nine divided by ten. Percentages are ninety-nine divided by hundred. Here always value, value, value. Here always class containing first. Everywhere class is decided. But plus one is used for row and discrete, not used for continuous. Then we will find the for uh, we will find the thing what is required. Lower boundary point is means exclusive class is required. Which class is decided, not other. Plus the value obtained from one minus cumulative frequency. So here everywhere cumulative frequency if not given in the question, then we have to find uh, minus C F upon F into C. But cumulative frequency which lower or upper, everywhere lower boundary points are used. So less than type frequency is used not because of this lower boundary point, but here cumulative frequency obtained is of less than type. You don't have to convert the uh, class of that boundary points, and you don't have to obtain the boundary points. Only you have to obtain the less than type cumulative frequency. Only the frequency you require in every. Then again, F is frequency of that class, and C is the class length. Class length is upper boundary point minus lower boundary point. Don't do upper limit minus lower limit. Otherwise, it will be wrong. Okay. So in each thing, it is written like this only. Now, common notes for this. So below this, I have right. So okay, in your book, if it is not coming, then. This much write in one page, and then in alternate page, you should have such page with our both together. If one you are writing here, then again you are turning the page, then that is not good. So if you are having notebook and in, if notebook, if it is not possible to write in single page, then in one page this much, and in next page this much, but both the pages should be alternate. Baju baju bada baju, okay? Both the pages should be alternate. Now we are writing common notes for it. Some of the notes which we buy.
Yes. Now, number one, for row data, comma, the observations are to be arranged in ascending order for row data the observations are to be arranged in ascending order number 2 finding any finding median or any positional average comma for no data if the value of observation is non integer with decimals then following rule must be Now suppose n is 10 plus 1 by 2 observation. So 11 by 2 is 5.5. So which observation must be taken? If only 5 then we are taking 5th observation. But what for 5.5? So if it is exactly 5.5 then what should be done? 5th plus 6th by 2. 5th observation plus 6th observation by 2. Now suppose if it is uh, 5.25th observation. If it is 5.25th observation, then what you should do? 5th observation plus 0.25 means the integer plus the decimal value and take the difference of next observation. Next is 6th minus current. Current is 5th. In this way you have to solve this friends. Otherwise, our answer will not be correct. Okay? And this is sorry for discrete and row. For row data, not only for row data. For row or discrete data. If the value of observation is non-integer with decimals, the following rule must be remembered. For that, A. If the value is exactly point 0.5, now in bracket you write like this, exactly point 0.5 in bracket write 5.5, 6.5, 7.5, to understand if the value is exactly 0.5 that is 5.5 6.5 7.5 etc then average must be taken off current and next observation Current means suppose if you are getting 5.5 then 5 is the current observation and next is 6th observation. So what you should do for 5.5? 5th observation plus 6th observation upon 2.
if the value is at any decimal then following must be done if the value is at any decimal suppose 5.25 5.75 then what should you do current observation plus decim decimal in bracket next observation minus current observation so i am giving an example suppose it is 5.75 then what is the current observation current observation is 5 what is decimal decimal is 0.75 Now, what is next observation? If it is five, then next observation is sixth observation. This is not value. Okay. Fifth observation. This is sixth observation minus fifth observation. Now, if this is five point seven five, then in this way. Now, if it is eight point seven nine, then how you should do eighth observation plus zero point seven nine. Next observation is ninth observation minus eighth observation. so you should not write this example you should just uh, just understand what i am trying to say okay yes so this is also over median and all the positional averages can be found for open ended classes also suppose we are having in the question such a way that 0 to 10 10 to 20 30 to 40 30 and above so the last class is open class then again next example Less than ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty. Here first class is open. Means here last upper boundary point is not known. Here first lower boundary point is not known. And in the question, if we, if they are writing, find the appropriate measure from mean, median, and mode. Then always you can find median only or any other positional average only is possible for these open-ended classes. No mean or no mode is possible. So you should remember this thing also. This thing is for one marks question also. That which measure can be found for open-ended classes? So what is the answer? Median and all the positional averages can be found for open-ended classes because we are using the middle classes only. We are not using first or last class. Number four. For continuous data, comma. the lower boundary point is required comma e classes are inclusive then only obtain exclusive class for the class which is decided for median or any positional average for continuous data the lower boundary point is required if the classes are inclusive then only obtain exclusive class for the class which is decided in first step for continuous data first of all we are deciding the class suppose the class is 10 to 19 then that is exclusive sorry inclusive class then you should only obtain exclusive class for that class only not any other class so don't make whole calculation make only calculation for it so these are the some of the guidelines which are to be followed for solving the sums 
now see friends today we have uh, completed our time in, com in completing these formulas and writing the notes so tomorrow onwards we are starting exercise 3.4 till that time write these all things that's all for today thank you